Meanwhile below, in one of the world's busiest air terminals, we find Akio Atamo, Odessa's husband, who is engaged in a desperate search. Tori! Tori! How could she have gotten this far? I was just checking the arrivals board. This is gonna kill me. Hey! Hey, Belle! Lost your kid? Oh, thank God. Where did you find her? Climbing around inside one of the luggage scanners. She was? Look, pal, this is a high security area, not a playground. I suggest you buckle her into that thing. Uh, she was. She was buckled in. Really? Here. Uh. Okay, well, thanks. How did you get out of this? Barely get this thing back together. You're overthinking it. <gasps> Odessa! Oh. <laughs> oh. Yes. What happened? We hit turbulence and a handcart flew into me. Oh my god. You know what? We'll stop at the university hospital on the way home. No, no, I already had it looked at. You did? It looks really recent. There was a doctor on the flight. You're sweet to her, but really it's not that bad. Oh. How was Victoria while I was gone? Adventurous. Oh, Lord, what did she do? <laughs> Today? <laughs> Once on the third floor, Akio tenses his body and bursts through his own door. Uh, Akio? Cliff. What are you doing here? I needed to see you urgently, but you were out. How did you, uh... A set of keys you insisted I have the last time I visited? <laughs> right. Hang tight. I gotta go open the window up and tell Odessa who our prowler is before he flies off the handle and calls the police or something crazy like that. I'll drink to that. No need. Evening, Des. I really didn't mean to cause this much of a ruckus. Oh, and it shows. Uh, Des? Where's Victoria? With Miss Cortez. I caught her on the way up. <laughs> but she's got a gun. Yeah, Tori's the only one of us I'd know would be safe. <laughs> I love you guys. Relax. I'll go get her. You boys talk. You want a drink? Yeah. So I've got some bad news. Justin Bates is dead. Dead? Yeah. Here's your drink. Thanks. Um, who, who did it? It was suicide. Why are you involved? I'm not. Not anymore. We concluded the preliminary investigation yesterday morning. Suicide. You know, I knew he'd been upset, but... <sighs> but suicide? Who committed suicide? Um, uh, Justin Bates. Look, I won't go into details, but there's something you need to see. Clifton Meadows pulls from his pocket a small video player. Is that Justin? There on the screen is a pale-drawn man with straggly hair and sunken eyes. Deep depression will do that to you. He made a video of suicide note. I don't get it. What's he talking about? So you don't know either, huh? No. I mean, 
I can't think of anything that was so traumatic that we all experienced together that would lead him to do this. Well, people perceive things in different ways. Des, we all grew up together. Can you tell me what he could have misconstrued so drastically? No, but I'm not inside his mind. Well, looks like I wasted a trip and spoiled a perfectly nice evening for both of you. Cliff, where are you going? Back. What, are you going to grab a red eye out or something? No, I brought the anti-grav ship. It's up on the roof. You flew an airship through Brooklyn. How the hell did you enter our airspace? Yeah, it's not as easy as it sounds. I had to clear it through a lot of interdepartmental channels. Is it still cleared? Yeah, well, I think so. <laughs> Look, buddy, why don't you just play it safe and stay here for the night? I can't. I haven't posted enough. Oh, please. When you get shot out of the sky, they'll make us come and identify the body. Yeah, not to mention all the paperwork. and. Ugh. Plus, then we'll have two funerals to go to. See? It's the lesser of two impositions. Right. Meanwhile, through the yawning archways of the Beau art style building that houses Brooklyn University, we find, seated inside one of her cavernous auditoriums, members of the press, along with the top minds of science, waiting with mounting anticipation as Professor Wilkinson makes her way to the microphone. Greetings, my dried eyed colleagues, and to you, members of the press. As you know, waste in its management is far from a revolutionary problem. However, the man I am about to introduce to you believes he has a revolutionary solution to it. I give you Professor Akio Otomo. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for that. And thank you for coming out today. As many of you here today know, I have spent the last 10 or so years working to develop this very device. My wife jokes that I spent the majority of that time trying to think of a clever name for it. However, I failed in doing so. I truly hope that the working functionality of this device makes up for its lackluster name. And so, I give you my matter reassignment machine. A large red curtain is yanked from over the top of the strange machine, which glints curiously in the morning sunlight. And now, if you'll indulge me, I'd like to demonstrate how useful this device can be. Suddenly, twenty or more burly men, each with trash bags slung over their shoulders, approach the stage. Otomo! I thought I told you no on the garbage men. You did, but honestly, I couldn't think of a better demonstration. You couldn't? Well, I wish you would have tried harder. How am I ever going to get the stink out? Don't worry. Odor is just a form of matter. I'm glad it doesn't matter to you. Gentlemen, if you'd be so kind as to place your bags inside. Professor Otomo, if you could hurry, some of us have breathing we'd like to return to. You're almost done, Professor. Okay. Okay. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to leave the hatch open. You know, so you don't think that there's any bag switching going on, or hidden elevators, or trap doors, or anything like that. Believe me, if you can get rid of that stink, no one will think you a cheap stage magician. Crowd gags as they stare in wide-eyed amazement. On a molecular level, the garbage begins to break down, slowly turning into some form of bizarre raw matter. What's happening? The matter's being reorganized right enough, but not in the way I had hoped it would. How you hoped? You didn't test it? There wasn't enough time finish yesterday. What kind of matter is it turning into? The smell is somehow getting worse. What? Oh, Atomo, stop this thing! Of course.
The audience makes a hasty retreat through the doors of the auditorium. 